Sons of the Forest. <gasps> oh my God! Hey yes, there, genius. Let's game it out. We're playing yes. Sons of the Forest, and something tells me we're gonna have a lot of fun today. I don't know what it is. Something about it. What the fuck is that? that? feeling. Oh, and also this video huh? is sponsored by Opera GX. Oh, Opera GX by my sponsor. Now it's time for new game. Now there is a story to this game. Swapping I'm back to give Chrome. You a quick version. We're some kind of private security. Me and old Fisheye and Kelvin over there. Creepy, Kevin! creepy Kelvin. Hey, what are you guys looking at? Oh, wait a minute. You're not looking at the case files. You're looking at Opera <laughs> GX, the first browser for gamers. What's that? You don't know about the browser for gamers? Well, then what are we waiting the for? The gamer Let's talk browser. About all the hot details of your next favorite browser. That's the wrong. That, that, that's the wrong background. Where, where is the orca lady the swim background? Hello? Using, like on other browsers. And the answer is yes. Because orca lady swim Chrome background. Store, where you, you at? Install right into Opera GX. You just go over there, do some clicking, and now it's all yours. You've also got a vast level of customization you can do to make the browser entirely your own. Orca so lady you could swim. Go with, like the default red <laughs> motif. It's the only acceptable background. Orca lady browser. swim. Oh, and also, where it's at? Let's game it out. Wallpaper. No, that's. There waiting for you. And no, also, you that's the wrong wallpaper. I orca lady swim wallpaper. Like how about we install this one called Clicky? It does exactly what you think it's gonna do. <laughs> listen, listen. I if you if you have a mod installed, it better be the fucking mod. There is no better mod. Yeah, and there's a lot of other. It needs to be me. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to look around and see what you find. Also, I've got the talk only about other my one. Thing, the GX is I the card board. It shows me a release pipe. calendar of upcoming games. And if you download Opera GX through my link in the description, you'll get this custom little section that shows the last three videos that I've put out. Oh. Jeez, when is this guy gonna put out another video already? And there's honestly so much more in this browser. I bet you'll find something. The Vop Key Mod. Become your favorite. Yeah, so Oprah. This sounds good to you. There's a link what about in the our own mod? Download right now for. For free. And thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring. Anyway, where are we? Oh, about to crash. That's what. Oop, there goes Fisheye. Goodbye. Kelvin, there. You're gonna be fine. I got you. No, no I don't. Kevin! Well, I'm sure that we'll be okay. We're only sinking to the bottom of the ocean. You're right, Kelvin. I should get out of here. <laughs> oh, good news. We made it. As did our knapsack in this emergency pouch thing. Here we are <laughs> in what I believe is our randomized starting location. We've got a couple of things here, including things we can pick up like rocks. We can also and open Kevin. up these things to discover what's inside, like blue paper tape. Gimme those. Oh, and we also have this guy crying out in misery and pain. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's Kelvin. And we could hold E to pick him up. But I think instead we're just gonna leave him there for now. After <laughs> no, all, look at all this gear we gotta Let's see. Let's just ooh, shiny a space tarp. I'm sure you'll come in space handy. Space blanket. And after we go ahead and pop all of these and take their contents, everything from bullets to grenades. Grenades. I mean, this isn't gonna work, is it? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, did I guess it does work. You know, maybe we won't do that. Don't worry, though. We're still just going to let him writhe around on the ground for a while. Anyway, I hate that you could just leave him there. Things. I'm glad these are organized the same way I would do it. Full of desk lamps and calculators and... Is that a xylophone? What a treasure yes. trove. And some flares. Hey, Kelvin, is this going to help you out? Not at all, but it sure was funny. Oh, actually, you know what? Your emergency condition reminded me of something. First off, this is our inventory. And this right here is our emergency emergency pouch which contains some nice emergency goodies Ooh, like this yes. axe here oh and the how goodies. tempting this is but that's not what an axe not is for we're supposed to be using Stop the axe for this on Kevin. <laughs> he's the best <laughs> glorious tree cutting well, isn't that both easy Neat. and fun? I love any game that lets you assert your dominance over nature although I sure <laughs> hope Kelvin is okay Oh, yeah, he's fine. And also, <laughs> hey, Kelvin, what's all this stuff over here? Are these other friends of ours? I'm gonna go with no. I think they're just hanging around instead. That's okay, <laughs> though. There's a whole world out here. Just for friends us hanging explore. out. Anyway, no big deal. Kelvin. I think oh, we so want to park and make sure stay safe. And that involves using the game's comprehensive building system. So we'll just put a log here. Stop. Put one here. And here. And one more right there. Okay, Leave it's a Kevin start. alone. And now rinse and repeat. Again and again. Okay, this looks pretty good. We took Kelvin and we <laughs> encased him in his own little wooden tomb. At least he is safe now. Land, we've got At least he is safe. Lighter. Well, that's not the kind of lighter I was expecting. Can we use it to set these logs aflame? Does not appear Stop. to be the case. Well, that's okay. I've got a backup plan for this, which of course is going to use more logs. One of the building things we can do is drive stuff into the ground. Here, watch okay. like this. 
Ta-da! But... And then after that, we can put down another piece. Look at that. We've made a log ramp. All we have uh -huh. to do is walk up on this, hop over, and we can happily see that our guy is still <laughs> suffering. But the fun doesn't stop here. We can stop. use these logs for oh so many things. For example, you can put two like this and space it out, and then put a cross beam in the middle, add another beam down like that, and now look at that. That arrow is clapping for us. What does it Yay! mean? Well, I'll tell you. Ta-da! And then with just a, a couple ramp. more logs, we can turn all this abstractness into a ramp. Wow, what a deal! And then we can walk right up here, and there's even more fun to be had. <laughs> no! Oh, don't worry, he's fine. What I'm worried about, though, is that log barely <laughs> made it in. Why is he bullying so Kevin? Not going in like that one, we're gonna actually split these things up into bite-sized little pieces. What an absolutely versatile system. And oh now that they're God. smaller, look how easily they go in. There's plenty of room for extra <laughs> logs. I wonder if we can just throw these from here. Hey, Kelvin, heads up. Ugh. Thanks. I oh. thought that was a good shot, too. Yeah, that seems pretty good, doesn't it? And the best part about this is because of the way this build system works, we can make a little window to check in on him. What's with all the crying? I'm helping you out. <laughs> Hello? Oh, good. You're still in there. I'm here to finally pick you up. Yep, there we go. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Hey, wake up. What I need up? you to pay attention through all the clipping walls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it because of all the logs. But we're basically making sure that he's awake. All right, Kelvin, ready to get out of here? Are you serious? You Goodbye. Play -a oh, what a jokester you are. Okay, so here's Kelvin's deal for real. He can't hear anymore, and for whatever reason, he doesn't talk. But he sure can smile. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> Kelvin. Anyway, the way we get him to do stuff is we go between various orders like follow me, or get certain kinds of items, and so on and so forth. You ready to go on an adventure, Kelvin? Yeah, you are. You know he's excited because his eyes rolled back in his head. <laughs> okay, let's leave all this behind and go into the forest. <laughs> Kelvin, you still with me? His eyes rolled back and so forth. You ready? to go on an adventure, Calvin? <laughs> yeah, you are. You know he's excited because his eyes rolled back in his head. Okay, let's leave all this behind and go into the forest. Calvin, you still with me? No, yeah! They did them so too deep dirty! Into our journey, <laughs> the forest, let's take a look at some of our wild tools we have here. Like other people's random meds. In real life, mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend doing this. But hey, in the forest, apparently this is perfectly normal. And we'll wash it down with this nice energy drink. Bottoms up! Great! Oh, littering. I love it! Anyway, the thing that matters the most to us right now, besides all this shade blocking my inventory. Thank God we have these handy dandy controls. Wow. Ah, yes, much better. Anyway, the thing <laughs> we care about is this right here, the GPS tracker, which is oh so helpful to our journey. See, there's us, and that K is Kelvin. Look how mobile he is now. And not <laughs> Look how mobile. Before he saunters <laughs> off into the woods. Anyway, there's a bunch of things we can learn from this, like there's the crashed helicopter. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, what is this? Is this a cave? Keith. Hey, Kelvin, you just stay in the bushes, okay? I want to check out what that cave was. Let's see, if I were a cave, oh, where no. would I be? Well, this looks promising, oh, no. especially with these Toilets out front. I mean, utility buckets. And more importantly, a human skull. Yeah. I'm glad you can not only palm it, but you Shiny. can use it to try to scare people. <laughs> like, for example, hey, Kelvin. Oh, hello. Hey, Kelvin, what do you think of this? Look at me, look at me. Yeah, he's impressed. Anyway, let's see about getting into this hole. And unfortunately, we can't skull our way in. So I guess it's <laughs> axe o'clock. Okay, let's go. Yep, this is a cave. He's all gonna right. see the pussy why, monster. Kelvin, follow me in here. That's fine. More Lydian stuff for me. And more let's importantly, it's really, dark. really hard to see. Then. Okay, we have that would be so crazy. Creepy caves. Not we both just enjoy breaking here. games, all, but in different ways. Wrong? You know, like with all these bones on the ground. Ow, what hit me? You know, never mind. I think I'm good not knowing. Look, what I'm sure the fuck? Fine. I'm just gonna keep on going and hope it doesn't follow. I think oh, I'm hello. good not uh, knowing. Pardon me? And excuse you? And before you know it, we're coming to something much cooler. Like whatever this is. Oh? Ooh, a stun gun. Say stun no gun! More. And not just that, but it looks like we have an extra clothing option, too. Anyway, it looks like that might be all that's around. I mean, except for this. But we don't really get to see what's happening over there quite yet. And I'm sure it's fine. <gasps> Creepy things moving in the distance. No big deal. Anyway, Anyway, let's rush back to Kelvin Hello? with our new toy. Uh, yeah, pardon me, please. See, look at that. We're already back outside. Kelvin? Kelvin, are you still here? Oh my god, there you are, Kelvin. I thought I'd lost you. Think fast. Uh, oh my god, feels why? So good, doesn't it? For us, I mean. Hey, that was pretty fun, right? Would you like another one? Stop! Oh, <laughs> Leave him alone! Hey, Kelvin, I'm sorry about that. No hard feelings, okay? Here, how about this? I have an item for you. Here, have this nice leather jacket that I just found. 
Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> You've never looked cooler. Now I'm not gonna feel bad when I shoot no, you with this I thing. Anyway, let us proceed. Oh, yep. This looks promising. Oh, boy. We have a dig site. And I know that because as a I get close, site. it shows me a shovel icon. And I definitely don't have one of those. Uh, but you know, it does look like the sun is going down. We're gonna need a place to sleep. So what could be better than right here? Now, let's not get too fancy. We're just gonna lay out a nice tarp right on top of this. <laughs> there, it's ready. And now we'll just prop it up with a handy dandy stick. I'm ready to sleep on what might be someone's grave if we're lucky. Well, good night. <laughs> if we're uh, lucky. Just like that, a brand new day. A whole day ahead of us to. Oh, Kelvin, I want you to be honest with me. Did you watch me sleep all night? Yes. I'll take that as a yes. He is deaf, once, I'm not, not blind. The breakfast of champions. Now, we could just leave all this stuff behind, but I feel like we gotta secure this job site first. What happens if somebody smarter than Kelvin comes across it? We can't <laughs> have them digging up this treasure or body or whatever is down here. Kelvin, I need you to get me some logs and put them right here. Hop to it. That's a good Kelvin. You stand here and do all the good work job, and I'll Kelvin. just watch you. Yes, yes. Yes, it feels perfect. So good to watch someone else do everything. And to make things worse, I'm gonna throw rocks at him while he does it. Nice Stop. work. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, Kelvin, Why? come back. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, okay, he's fine. I'm glad he's unperturbed by the fact <laughs> he's not bleeding from his head. He understands that there's vital work to be done. Don't worry, though, I'm doing my part. Hey, Kelvin, think fast. Stop. Okay, this seems like a pretty good pile. While he's doing all that work, let's go ahead and get started on this. While the plan is indeed to build something on top of this space, I have to admit, I have an ulterior motive here. We haven't really had a chance to test out what this building system can do, and oh, I, for no. one, would like oh, to see no. just how high up we can build. Oh, so no. Hold, please. Please. Oh no, deforestation! Okay, I did a lot of building, like a oh, lot God. and a lot and a lot. I decided that we needed to see above the tree line, and this seemed like the easiest way to do it. Even though building something of this magnitude took a really, really long time. Thank Jesus! God I had the help of what's his face? Isn't that right? Uh. He's fine. He's just resting. Anyway, so uh, how's about I give you the grand tour? Why is he is dead? Logs and wooden ramps spanning a glorious 33 floors. And once we make it to the top, you can see that it's not a, uh, it's not quite finished here. But I figured that was okay. It gives it that kind of always in development look. Plus, we always get a chance to look down at our handiwork. And there's all the wood <laughs> we chopped, which is not nearly as much as you'd think it would be. But what a view! We can see all these trees and the uh -huh. ocean and that beautiful uh -huh. river right there not to mention right. that beach over that direction and such a stunning view of this mountain and of course I wanted wow. to build that high but it turns out building something like this takes a while because don't forget you can only carry uh. two logs at a time which means that every time I want to grab my two logs and take them all the way up there, I have to take the stairs like everybody oh else. Oh my and god, up no! these ramps isn't really that big of a deal, but just going up this all the way to the top took a solid 30 seconds. And then I add my two logs, and then I have to do it all over again. And each one of these floors, once you count up all the logs plus the pieces that were used to make the ramp, is about 40 logs a floor. That means I have to what? do 20 trips a floor. It's a lot of running back and forth. It took a whole lot longer, of course, because I had to keep telling Kelvin what to do. You might also be wondering, why are my hands covered in blood? Well, I'll tell you. It turns out you can throw logs into the air and then catch them with your face. You absolutely <laughs> extraordinary results. I also want to see if I can convince Kelvin to come up to the top with me. Yep, stare at my crotch for some reason and nod. Okay, so far so good. He can navigate the stairs. That, is that how he died? Hey, buddy, let's go. Come you made him up. fall Sorry, off. these ramps are so hard on you. So something tells me he's not going to be able to find his way up here. Well, what good are you then? Anyway, if you're going to be like that. Let's see no! if we can bring the fun to him. Besides, he's fine. So here's one cool thing we can do. If we bring out our axe, now covered in Kelvin's Why? blood, you can actually, shall we say, customize some things. And normally you would use this for if you wanted to, like, make windows in a structure where there previously wasn't one. Now you can do that. Look how nice that looks. And you can wow. also use that option for if you put a log in the ground like so, and you decide you don't want it quite that tall, you can go up to it and chop it down to whatever customization level that you want. Isn't that something? The possibility are endless. Although oh, I have no. to admit, I'm not sure no. what happens when you cut down a structure no. here when it's kind of a load-bearing structure for a lot of way up. Well, I guess only one <laughs> way to find out. Here we go. 
Oh, oh, I see. It appears to have self-corrected. Oh my god, and every single floor is sloping now. Wait, can I just do this all over the place? I sure can. And thus I sure will. Oh, now that's too even. We gotta fix that. We'll just take it down yet another notch. There we go. And there we go. Oh, that's looking exceptional now. Well, Kelvin seems unperturbed, despite the fact that right behind him, all of the ramps are um taking on interesting characteristics now. Okay, well now we have to keep going. Why would you do this? And turn the entire thing into a weird work of art. I just can't believe it lets us do this over and over and over. And it's not like every single one. Like, there's some that just don't let you do it. But a lot of them you can. So really, why wouldn't we accept all offers? Oh yeah, look at all the good we've done in here. <laughs> Kelvin, I'm glad you're still standing there. And even past him, it gets even worse. Oh my god, this is fantastic. And also, despite how horrible it looks, you can still navigate it. Which is good, because there's a ton more beams we need to cut down. And really, if these ramps are getting oh too hard to climb god. up, no problem. We'll just customize the layout until everything fits better. And don't worry, everything is still totally navigatable. I mean, kinda. It does get a little weird at parts, but everything's still functionally just, there. Yeah, just, and totally just gets mountain the gold. job done. And by gets the job done, I mean he gets us closer to pillars that we can chop to make things worse. See, this is the architecture I'm in it for. You know, it's oh weird, but God. for some reason, this is getting harder and harder to climb. <laughs> Couldn't say why for sure, but I'm sure it's something I did. You, you think know, so? All things considered, still pretty stable. I mean, kinda. Stable by our standards. And also, if there's structures in the way, you can just pull them out and get it them out of there. I like how some of it isn't even connecting anymore. Okay, I finally made it to the top, and it sure is looking <laughs> very normal. Very well, us. Just remember, it used to look like this, and now it looks like this. What a lovely sight this all is. And at this point, it's kind of like, I'm not really sure how to get down without hurting myself. But let's step back for a second, and I'll show you something I found along the way. As I was wandering around at some point, I came mm -hmm. across this beautiful stream. Let's even mm -hmm. stop for a drink of water. Mm -hmm. Mmm, I'm sure that's Yummy. plenty safe. Just like whoever was riding in this cart. Anyway, check out what's right past shiny it. Yet another eye, cave entrance. Mouth, Except this one takes Thank us you somewhere kill. that's going to be very exciting for us. Because as you can see, oh. it leads us into a facility of sorts. And in this place, we have all kinds of exciting goodies. Because conveniently one down point. here in this lab is a 3D printer. Look at all the fun things we can make. Wait, Arrows, what? A creepy mask. And also a sled. I think this is a what we sled. need in our lives right now. Well, so far, this looks like a sled already. <laughs> it just spawns a sled. Wait a what? Is it like the first part of a sled? Oh, nope. It's the nope, whole sled. It's, and it's, I can it's also see it in the air and quickly getting inside. Because now we can have really fun sled adventures. <laughs> Which sled means now adventures. I have this convenient little sled. And I have an untested theory that maybe we can use it to get to the ground. Okay, are you ready? Here goes nothing. Huh. Now get in the sled. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, look at that. Wait, this works! landing with all of my health. Well, that was fun. Time to shove this back into my pocket. And now that we're back here all safe and sound. You know, safe and sound, just like how jacked up this looks. Especially that <laughs> mess right there. And I'll never get tired of seeing Kelvin's creepy silhouette just right there. Anyway, we're still not He's done yet. He's just standing there. I wanted to have decorations. So we're going to take a little trip through the wilderness to gather some supplies. So there's a bunch of fun decorating we can do. We can make benches and tables. Uh -huh. That's not really what I'm interested in. I'm interested in in this, a skull lamp. Oh my Doesn't God. that look festive? And even more exciting is I think I know where to procure some. Hi, fellas. How would you like to contribute to the cause? <laughs> oh, I think I made a bad call. And something tells me I need to be a little bit more cautious about how I go about this. But surely even this guy is susceptible to enough rocks, right? Only one way to find <laughs> out. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And I have to do it while also dodging all these other people. Ow. Stop it. Oh, there goes one. And yes, you could do stuff like building spears in this game. But why <laughs> do that when you can just pelt people just with rocks? Just throw rocks. <laughs> right, yeah. And three, and four. And now all we need to do is deal with this tall drink of water. Oh, I'm sorry, am I boring you? Get back here. <laughs> I like that he's like, no, stop. Oh boy, this stop. sure is taking a lot of rocks, isn't it? 45, 46, 67, 68, 84. Oh my God, that finally did it. I might have lost count Just at some throw point, rocks. but it took hitting him 80 something times in the chest with rocks. Unfortunately, we don't have the skull yet. So hold, please. <laughs> And there you have it. A nice relaxing pile of heads. Oh, but we're not done yet. There's a little matter of, um, well, you know where this is going. 
Oh. <laughs> hey, Kelvin. Look what I found. Oh, look at it, look at it. I totally forgot I already had a skull from earlier. Oh, well. But I still expect you to act impressed, Kelvin. <gasps> anyway, now we can build Stop! our real skull. Stop! We'll just take a stick and we'll just put it down like that. Then we'll add a little bit of cloth like that. And last but not least, the skull. Ah. Boom. Very nice. Well, let's make some more of them. I'm happy that it's so easy to make these. But as it turns out, there's kind of a downside to these, which is that they're easily knocked over. See, look at that. There they oh. go. So instead, I'll take these things over to my local water supply and just throw them in there. Finally, I'm <laughs> wasting and polluting like a true American. At least they look nice and menacing, especially as it becomes nighttime. In fact, they're the only thing out here that we can see. Well, at least we know Kelvin's still here. Well, that's And whatever promising. that is. Kelvin, look out. We've got some company. And this one's wearing a hoodie. Ow. What Who the fuck? I predicted that they were going to retaliate. Oh my God, Kelvin, you're alive. We got to get out of here right now. And by we, I mean me. Enjoy. Bye. Thanks for your what sacrifice. What the fuck? Okay, no, I think Kevin. All right. It's daytime now. And my goodness, how nice the tower looks. Why would I'm you do that? I hope that Kelvin's dead. Why does you he know, hate Kevin so much? This looks. Look at all those crappy ramps. Okay, well, that was BS. He was the only you reason to play this, this game. For next time. So I think I know where I want to begin with this, but I want to test something first. And for that, I need to figure out if Kelvin is still alive. Kelvin? 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 What the hell are you doing? Is this you hiding? Well, wow. stop it. I need you. I'm just so glad he's here with wow, me. Wow, thank you, but all. Without him. Okay, Kelvin, here's what I need from you. I would like you to stay right here. Can you do that? Good. Anyway, hold still. I want to test something with campfires. Oh my god. Okay, I call that a successful test. And now for test number two. Also known Stop! as any excuse to wail on Kelvin. Oh! So it looks like if someone does hover over the fire long enough, then they do eventually catch on fire. I don't think it has to be right over the twigs and berries, but that was his choice. Oh, well, let's <laughs> double the fun with more fires. Hold Stop! Still. Now the downside is clearly this doesn't do that much damage. Or else I think Kelvin would be dead by now. Uh-oh, Kelvin, don't turn around. There's a bad guy near us. Never mind. Looks like it's a friend. Where did that thing go? Dang, it's run away. In the meantime, we need to prepare for the next test. And that means getting more logs. Okay. Now with these logs, we're going to build a little something out here. All we need to do is put another one right here. Yeah, be nice. You're so and good. Order, this turns into this. A nice little tiny mini prison, which hopefully will be enough to trap one of those guys when they come back. Now we just need to set the bait. No, not you, jackass. Oh, here we go. We've got a contender. I get stopping right there. You got to stretch your hammies and stuff first. Yeah, okay, yeah. here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Stop that. I need to get you in the hole, not around the hole. Okay, come on. Come on, follow me in here. Just do me a favor and don't hit me right now, okay? Okay, that's not helping. That's not helping anybody. <laughs> well, the important part is are you catching on fire or not? You know what I probably need is more fires. Hold on. Yep. Oh, yep, no, yourself. stop. Oh, see, there we go. It's not so bad, right? Oh, hey, you know what? That does seem to work, at least for a little while. Seems like what we need to do is make a lot of fires. Like a lot of fires. Like a lot, a lot of them. Oh yeah, this my feels god, how? No big deal, just a nice little circle of fire. <laughs> Thank goodness I was able to do all this stuff while this guy was occupied. That's the spirit. You're <laughs> he so just destroys the structure hey, like, yeah, me? fuck Never the mind. shit. It looks like this is working. Uh oh, he's in here with me. What? Sir, through the glitchy goodness, did you just throw a skeleton at me? You know, I feel like this isn't working as I hoped it would. He seems uninterested in this fire business. Nope, I take it back. There he goes. Ah. Uh, well, that was nice. Yes. Well, this seems like the ultimate problem solver, doesn't it? Let's go get some more willing participants for the ring of fire. Hey, fellas, can I interest you in, uh, uh, what in tarnation what is fuck? happening here? I didn't realize there would what be the a whole fuck new is that? here. Are you okay? Well, you know what? It's all the same to me. Why don't you guys come with me anyway? Uh, what is that? Looks from back here. What a perfect column of flames. Come on. Come on. Oh, looks like you see something you like. I hope it's this column of flames because that's what's about to happen. Don't worry about all that glitchiness. <laughs> it's good for you. Okay, they're definitely on fire. And scene. Oh, yeah. What a great way to battle the elements. Well, this calls for a celebration. St oh, what? Calvin, you're you're ready to so party. Uh oh. Uh oh. It looks what like the I've upset the natives. This might be a little too much for me to handle. Quickly protect me, tower. They won't follow me up here, will they? Okay, okay, I see how it is. I think I might have made some bad calls. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 stop hitting that. Oh my. Um. 
Oh. Oh, good. Uh, well, now you jackasses have done it. Now I've got to build this whole thing all over again. I hope you're happy with yourselves. At least I've still got this. Unlike my tower, this thing will never leave me. I'm going to go try to find a nice place to use my sled. Fuck? Seeing as how this place appears to be slightly compromised. I want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring this video. You want to check out the Modern project for yourself? Yes. It's free. You can download Jesus. it right now. Using my link in the description. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And still am. And I'll see you next time. So, wow, wow. Only wow, wow. And I will not stop while I stroke my cock. <laughs>